In today's class, we're talking about processes of soil formation. How, how does our, how is our soil being formed? The process of soil formation is called weathering. Weathering is defined as the disintegration or breakdown of rocks into tiny pieces to form soil. Weathering is defined as the disintegration or breakdown of rocks into a tiny piece to form the soil. In other words, what it can also be defined as a breakdown of rock masses, which are the rock materials, in smaller or similar forms through the agent of the physical, chemical, and biological processes. So our, our soil process of form, soil formation is called the weathering, and it's just a breakdown of our rocks into a tiny piece to get our soil. That's just how our soil is being formed. It's a breaking down of soil into a tiny piece. And this, and to form this, and before this soil formation, there are some agents that works in land with this. And these agents are just the physical, the chemical, and biological processes. These are just the processes a soil, a rock is going to undergo before it can be formed, before it can form a soil. The rock must go through some process, which is the physical, the chemical, or the biological process before it can form a soil. And what is this, what are the physical processes? Number one is temperature. The alternating heating and cooling of the rocks produce pressure within the rock and cause them to break down into pieces. You know, for the physical process, we have the temperature. And this is just alternating heating and cooling of the rocks. Rocks produces pressure within the rock. And this causes the breakdown into a smaller pieces. Wind also, as one of the physical processes, as a result of grinding of rock surface by solid materials carried by wind, water, and moving ice, rock break down to form soil. Another physical process is our eyes. The conversation of water inside cracks in rock in rocks into eyes into eyes results in increase in volume. This increase in volumes results in more pressure being extracted on the rock walls, which eventually breaks into a smaller pieces. You now when the conservation of water inside inside cracks into a rock and this ice results into increase or increase in volume. When the volume is being increased, it cracks. And this volume results on more pressure being extracted on the rock walls. With time, the rocks eventually break into smaller pieces. Water. Running water carries some fragments of rocks along its courses. And this rubs against the surface of the rocks in the riverbeds which cause breaking of some of small pieces of rocks. You know, if you can, if it's a well water, when the what when you when you draw a well water, you might see some. It's even possible you see is some smaller piece of rocks in it. These are just how the rocks break down into smaller pieces. Running water in a running water, you will see some fragments of rocks along its course, and this rubs again the surface of the rocks in the riverbeds also, and this breaks down into small pieces of rocks. Around the chemical process, we have solution, and this occurs when water dissolves, and soluble minerals present in the rocks are carried from place where water flows. When water dissolves and soluble minerals present in the rocks are carried from where, from a place where water flows. These are the chemical process. 
for the carbonation. Atmospheric carbon dioxide mixes with, mixes with rainwater to form a weak carbon, carbonic acid. This acid dissolves rocks, resulting in their breakdowns. No, the atmospheric carbon dioxide is mixed with rainwater, and this forms a very weak carbon, carbonic acid. And this carbonic acid dissolves the rocks, and this results to the breakdown, to its breakdown. Hydration. This is the attachment of water with rock minerals. This results in chemical alteration of the minerals, e.g., the, cons the conversion of iron to rocks to hydrated rocks. This is how we the what. You know, we said the attachment of water with rock minerals. That's just the hydration, and this is when you convert a particular rock to an hydrated rock. This is what form hydration. And this also breaks down the rock into a smaller piece. Hydrolysis, the reaction of water with rock minerals to produce a rock. Entirely different from the original one. When you produce a rock that is different from the other one. Hydrolysis is the reaction with water. Reaction of water with rock minerals to produce a rock that is entirely different from the original one. Another chemical process is oxidation. This is the reaction of rocks with oxygen from the atmosphere. Oxidation is reaction of rock with oxygen from the atmosphere. This reaction eventually weakens and breaks down the soil to form the rock to form soil. Biological process and but one is this is caused by the action of animals, animals like earthworm, termites, and other soil organisms. Movement of this oxy, of these organisms causes some causes some fragments of rocks to disintegrate. Their movement on the rocks they cause they cause some of the fragments, small part of the rocks to disintegrate. Earthworms and termites burrows into the rock and break off fragments of the rocks and they just they wrinkle the rocks and break off the fragments of it another biological process is the roots of growing plants penetrate rocks through the cervix exerting pressures which split some rocks you not know, like roots of some of our plants like our Palm, our uh, palm plants, our uh, palm, like just let's say our uh, oil palm, the plant, you know, it has a strong root, like our mango, it has a strong root, our cashew too, they all have a strong root. And these their roots can penetrate into the rocks and they divert pressure. Once they divert pressure, pressure on the rocks, it splits the rock, it breaks into a smaller particles, and which is how it, a soil is being formed. The activities of man during farm operations, such as plowing and arrowing, also break down rocks into tiny pieces. You know, some of our farm operations, like our plowing, they make, when we make use of our tractor most times, it, it breaks the rocks into tiny pieces, and this also forms our soil. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in our next class. In our next class, talking about the factors of soil formation. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.